the annals of biblical history, few figures loom as large as King David of Israel. Renowned as a man after God's own heart, David's legacy is one of triumph and tragedy, virtue and vice. Yet, amidst his triumphs as a warrior, poet, and leader, lies a tapestry of sin and moral failings that are as undeniable as they are profound. From the infamous affair with Bathsheba to the orchestration of Uriah's death, David's transgressions serve as a poignant reminder of the complexities of human nature and the frailties that even the most revered among us can succumb to. Delving into the depths of David's sins unveils not only the dark corners of his character but also the enduring themes of repentance, forgiveness, and redemption that define his legacy. Through examining the sins of King David, we gain insight into the timeless struggle between righteousness and temptation, and the enduring power of divine grace to transform even the most flawed of individuals. King David, one of the most prominent figures in the Hebrew Bible, Old Testament, is celebrated for his accomplishments as well as criticized for his failings. Among the sins attributed to King David are Adultery with Bathsheba, David's affair with Bathsheba, the wife of Uriah the Hittite, is one of the most well-known instances of his transgressions. Bathsheba became pregnant with David's child while her husband was away at war. To cover up the affair, David arranged for Uriah to be placed on the front lines of battle, where he was killed. Murder of Uriah David's decision to have Uriah killed in battle to conceal his adultery is considered a grave sin. It shows David's abuse of power and betrayal of trust, as he used his position as king to orchestrate the death of an innocent man. Census against God's will In 2 Samuel 24, David orders the census of Israel and Judah, despite being warned by his military commander Joab that it goes against God's will. This act of pride and disobedience leads to a punishment from God, resulting in a plague that kills thousands of Israelites. Neglecting his duty as a father, David's failures as a father are evident in his lack of discipline and intervention with his children. He did not address Amnon's rape of Tamar, nor did he properly deal with Absalom's rebellion, which ultimately led to Absalom's death. Lack of justice and mercy, David's actions, or lack thereof, in response to the injustices committed by his sons and officials reflect a failure to uphold justice and mercy. He often turned a blind eye to wrongdoing within his own household and kingdom. Despite these sins, David is also remembered for his repentance and his deep faith in God. The biblical narrative portrays him as a complex figure who experienced moments of triumph and failure, yet remained dedicated to God's purposes. His story serves as a reminder of the complexities of human nature and the importance of seeking forgiveness and redemption. Conclusion in the saga of King David, we encounter a narrative that is as rich in moral complexity as it is in historical significance. Through the lens of his sins, we witness the fallibility of even the most revered figures, reminding us that no one is immune to the allure of temptation or the pitfalls of human weakness. Yet, amidst David's transgressions, we also find a testament to the transformative power of repentance and the boundless mercy of God. Despite his grievous errors, David's story is not one of condemnation but of redemption, a journey marked by humility, contrition, and a steadfast commitment to seeking forgiveness. Through David's example, we are reminded of our own capacity for both greatness and moral failing, and the ever-present need for introspection, accountability, and the pursuit of righteousness. His story challenges us to confront our own shortcomings with honesty and humility while also embracing the hope that, like David, we too can find redemption in the grace of a merciful God. As we reflect on the sins of King David, let us not be defined solely by our failures but inspired by the possibility of renewal and transformation. May we strive to emulate his courage in acknowledging our mistakes, his resilience in the face of adversity, and his unwavering faith in the power of divine forgiveness. And may we, like David, ultimately find solace in the knowledge that even in our darkest moments, we are never beyond the reach of God's boundless love and mercy.